Mess by. Let's do this. Wait, Creek 2 is only $3.99? Good deal, Men in Black Trilogy. So I can get one with the... Oh. That works. Some 9.99 ones here. Here are all the 9.99 ones. 9.99 ones. 5.99 ones. Ninety-nine ones. That's a possibility. Sage collection. Sixteen ninety nine ones. Here are the seven ninety nine doorbusters. There's Avengers, Spider Man, Captain Marvel, Ralph breaks the internet. No twelve ninety nine ones. John Wick three. Godzilla. Men in Black International, the Mission Impossible series. That one's also a maybe. Transformers, Maze Runner Trilogy, King Kong, Piece of Shit Movie, <laughs> Shaft 4K. Some more 799 ones. Aquaman, Shazam, with the slip. Godzilla, Annabelle comes home, Predator, Teen Titans go Teen versus Teen Titans, that's a good deal. Some more 999 ones that lead to Battle Angel, Bumblebee, Batman Trilogy, Christopher Nolan one, Tomb Raider, First Man, Matrix, they don't have the Zombieland Steelbook, unfortunately. Six dollar movies. I actually don't think I have this on Blu-ray, honestly. That one's a definitely a possibility. I also have the mule here. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Stuber. Quiet Place. Here's all the 599 ones. I want to look for the kid who would be king. So there is that one, and it is che cheaper, $27.99. So that's one I might definitely pick up. Got some other skill books here. On sale, $27.99. I always got to check this section here, too. Oh, that's a shame. I was really looking forward to getting that one. Doom Patrol. That's 25. This one I might also get too. I'm gonna see. I'll get it, and then if Barnes and Noble doesn't have the big version of this, then I'll probably just take. If Barnes and Noble has the new, the bigger version of this, I'll just take this one back. Marvel movies are 27.99. That's a good deal on that one, 120 bucks. I'm half tempted to pick these ones up, but I might wait on these ones. I got some decent stuff at deals here. 
Spartacus was only 12, Sing's only 13, 15. Hmm. That might be one I might also pick up as well. Schindler's List is $17.99. There's that Kingsman set. I picked that. I got that one right in my cart. Meg's only $25. Kill Bill's only $10. Volume 1 and Volume 2. Oop. There we go. Move the sweatshirt down there so we can look, get down to graphic taxes here. A lot of this stuff I don't know if I'm going to get. There are some good deals here, but we'll see. Let, I'll, let me look around some more. Here's one I wanted to see. That's an option. Six bucks. No freaking way. Anything over here? Death Wish is $3.99, but it does not look like over here. Unless there's something right over here that I'm going to see. It's strong. Those are two really good deals right there. Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Batman Hush for six. Found the kid who would be king. So you're coming with me. That's not a good deal on these. I'm gonna step away from the movies for a bit. See if I can find this right here. Got it, 130 bucks. Which means all of this is gonna have to be reduced down somewhat. And I still gotta go, I'm still gonna go back over there and see if I missed anything, which I probably did, but... I was ready for this. Okay, so right now I'm debating on what I'm trying to get here. I have these two right here for 13. So that's 26. That's 6. That's also 6. That one I might not get. That's 8. This is 6. This is 28. 25. 20. 15. These are both 10, these are both 6, and then this thing is 130, which is marked down for 230, which, yeah, I'm not going to get all of this, but I'm going to have to reduce this down considerably because I still have to go to Target after this. Oh, boy. That's been my biggest letdown so far. This and Doom Patrol are not on sale, which, that sucks. I wanted to get these ones. Who knows, maybe at Target they'll have them, but... They're not on sale here, unfortunately. Damn it. There's the kid who would be king. There's a really good deal here. Lego Movie 2 is only 6. Missing Link's only 6. How to Train Your Dragon's only 8. <laughs> Star is Born's only 4 bucks on Blu ray. I'm tempted to get this one, but I already have it on Blu-ray on the other two, on Blu-ray and 4K. But I'd only be getting that for the slip. It's a really nice slip cover, but I'm gonna hold back. I'm gonna hold back. So they got some decent deals here, but nothing that really screams out incredible. That Robocop still looks sold out quickly though. Like, why isn't this one on sale? Angry Birds 2 came out around the same time this did, and that's cheap, 10 bucks. This is still 23. That one's not on sale. Neither is Doran the Lost City of Gold. Well, 20 bucks, but still. I mean, I don't know. 27 for that. Now comes the process of trying to lower this down because I don't know if I don't really feel comfortable spending almost 300 bucks on all this stuff. So this is what I I can get this up here. Here we go. This is what I have so far in terms of movies, including this, which is going to be 130, about 250 thus far, and this is the stuff I've got rid of. Might we might have to take some more stuff off of there, but we'll see what happens. Put the cookie down. Oh no. Something more like Christopher Walken and 
Or the zombie land still looks to be sitting right behind you, and I just can't see him. There it is. I am going to hold off on that one, because it looks like they still got the five copies there, but... Here it is for future reference. For my future reference. Alright, so Best Buy is complete. Next stop is Target. Some of the movies over here. Five dollar ones. Oh, yes, this is what I need. Those are actually good deals on that. Well, that's the DVDs, though. are nine dollar ones. And yet a lot of these I already own. There's some more nine dollar ones here. It's the Blu-ray version of Angry Birds 2. Avengers Endgame, Far From Home. See Best Buy had the better deal on the mule. Yeah, so far this has been the only thing I found in here. I'm gonna keep looking though. <laughs> Disney movies. Step back in the actual section and see. <sighs> not on sale. Not on sale. Did find this though. Let's go see if this is on sale or not. I doubt it, but we'll see. Oh, that is on sale. Fifty bucks. It is now officially midnight, it's officially Friday, Black Friday, and they did not have the one thing I thought was going to be here, that Disney Classic Games Aladdin and Lion King video game for the PlayStation 4 that was 15 bucks. they don't have it unfortunately. But I did find this, this was fit. This is on sale for 50 bucks, and then this was on sale for 10 I have not seen this in stores anywhere, so these two things I'm definitely picking up. Go ahead and take a look around and see if there's anything else, but I think this might be about it. Half a day later. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got home late last night, and I was just too tired to finish the, to finish the rest of this then, so 
I decided to wait until tomorrow morning to do this, and now it is tomorrow morning, so it is Black Friday today, so let me go ahead and show you everything that I picked up, which you pretty much saw everything that I picked up in there. Best Buy and Target were kind of letdowns, honestly. Like, everything they had inside there, there wasn't... Is Most of the stuff they had on sale was stuff that I already owned, but there was some stuff in there that I did pick up, stuff that I wanted, but... I don't know, I thought the selections they had there were kind of disappointing. I thought there was going to be more of a selection, like... Like, there was stuff in there that I thought was going to be on sale that wasn't, like, Titans Season 1, uh, Doom Patrol Season 1, Manifest Season 1, uh, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, Gold, Good Boys, you know, just a bunch of these recent movies that I thought would be on sale, but they weren't on sale. Like, they weren't, like, they were on sale, but they weren't, they weren't like, cheap prices, so... Those were, those were kind of the things that I was bummed out about, but I did find some stuff in there, and I'll show you the one thing I did pick up at Target. I did also pick up that Sega Genesis Mini that you saw there for 50 bucks. It was too good of a deal to pass up. So at Target, I did get Young Sheldon Season 2. This was the only place that I saw that had this on sale, so uh, Best Buy didn't have it on sale, but this was 10 bucks at Target. I could pass that up. It's a great show. really love that show. So yeah, 10 bucks for that one. And everything else in here I got from Best Buy, and I'll show you what I picked up there. So first up, we have The Kid Who Would Be King, which was $6. And this was a movie I was really looking forward to, honestly. After I heard all the good reviews about this one, this is directed by the same guy who did Attack the Block. And, uh, did he also, I think he, I don't know if he also wrote Hot Fuzz or, or one of the, a, uh, Either Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, or World's End, but I could be mistaken on that one. But I know he directed Attack of the Block, which is a great movie, and I really heard a lot of good things about this one. And for six bucks, couldn't turn down the offer to watch this one, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. And I don't have these in any order, so <laughs> these are all going to get mixed up here. Uh, this one was actually ten bucks on the Steelbook rack, but I had not seen it on the Steelbook rack before in that. In Best Buy, so I had to pick that up. Kill Bill Volume 1. I have both for this one and Volume 2 on a regular double feature set, but these are actually... It's, it's interesting. I've never seen these ones in public before in, at Best Buy, so I knew I had to pick this up. Uh, really like these. Really like the Kill Bill movies. Volume 2 is going to be in here somewhere, so... Uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the original one. I don't have this one on Blu-ray, and this one does have the other two Grinch specials, The Grinch Bridges the Cat and Halloween's Grinch Night. And like I said, six bucks. Couldn't turn down that offer. Uh, this was one I waited for on for, for Black Friday because I knew it was. I probably knew it was going to be. I I knew it was going to be at this is at a cheaper price, which it was. Eight bucks is not bad bad for this, especially when you consider Target had it for ten. But Shaft, like I said, I was not the biggest fan of this. I was not the biggest fan of this movie, but I didn't hate it as much as everybody else. <laughs> I did. I did laugh. I liked the cast in this. You know, for eight bucks, why not? So there was that one. This is another one I was really looking forward to seeing. The Hate You Give. This was six bucks. And heard a lot of great stuff about this one. I w wanted to see this one. I didn't get around to seeing it, unfortunately, when it came out. I was as I told myself, you know, I'll wait till, for Black Friday. Maybe they'll be on sale. It was on sale, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. And now here's Kill Bill Volume 2. The steelbook for that one. That's ten, That was 10. I picked this one up. Sing for 15. I have the regu I have this one on Blu-ray. But for 15 bucks, the special is saving about 20 I think it was like originally 25. Maybe let me see what the receipt says. Uh... Oh, so it was a discount of 17 but It was about 17 but It was originally 32 But you know what? For 15 bucks, that's not a bad deal for this. It was actually not a surprisingly good movie. When I, I, was, I didn't see this one in theaters. I waited for Blu-ray for, for this to come out. And it was an enjoy, it was kind of an enjoyable movie. I, I'm not going to lie about that one. So there's that. Next up, this was not part of any of the Black Friday sales. These next three actually weren't part, part of the Black Friday sales. I just picked them up. Any, uh, Robocop the new Arrow video version. I picked this one up because... Because, for one thing, I wanted to see if Barnes... Is, I don't know if I'm going to hold on to this one, but Barnes & Noble, 
I'm going to check and see if they have the big box set, which has the big, huge box set, for because they have 50% off on all era videos still going on. But when I but the reason I picked this one up at Best Buy last night was because as I was going to put it back, there was two copies left when I found this. When I went when I went over to the section where I found this, they were the other one was gone. So just in case I don't find the one at Barnes and Noble, I picked this one up. I have the I have another version of this on Steelbook, but this has like a ton of different bonus features on here. You know, Era Videos, just like Shout Factory and all the films, they really put a lot of time and effort into these releases. And this is a great... It's, Robocop's just a great movie. I don't need to, need to say anything more about this one. But yeah, that was 20 bucks. Uh, next up, I picked up the Kingsman Steelbook, which has the Secret Service and the Golden Circle, which I found last week, surprisingly, for 25 bucks. And this was just interesting. I didn't think they had this in a Steelbook, but... Like I said, the f like I said before, the first movie I really like, The Secret Service and Golden Circle, not so much. Uh, hopefully, they hopefully with the prequel that they've got coming out next year, they can make a bit better movie than The Golden Circle did, which looks pretty good. Can't wait to see that one next year. And then lastly, the big w and then lastly, I got Star Wars: The Last Jedi, the mo and that was tw marked down to twenty eight bucks. A lot of the Disney steel books they had in there were twenty eight dollars, which Compare, which they were originally 35 and I figure, you know what, now's the time to get this. And, you know, with the new one coming out, we're looking forward to seeing that one. I enjoyed this one a lot more than a lot of people claim they claim they thought of, they think it is. Like, I know, I know a lot of people are, like to bash this movie for so, is for so many reasons, but I've liked what Disney has done with the Star Wars movies, honestly, since, they, since they've taken it over. They've done more with Star Wars than anything that the prequels did. And you know, I think it's like I said, twenty eight bucks. Couldn't pass that up. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so those are all the movies I picked up, and I did pick up one more thing in the, there, which if I can get it out. Hold on. Yeah, it's hard to get this out here with. Two, it's hard to get this out of here with two, one hand. Yeah, I know it's good up. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not changing. It right now, I'm already seven minutes into this, but I did pick up the Yeti plus C922 to the Blue Yeti and Logitech C922 bundle that was on sale. That was originally it was originally 230, but you saved 100 bucks on this. You get a webcam, you get a Yeti microphone, and this is probably and this is going to be used for for more. I want to try to do more videos, more like live videos on my channel here, so. You can see there. You know what? For for 130 bucks, this isn't a bad deal at all. They give you the blue, yeah. You get the blue Yeti microphone. You also get the this webcam, the C922 Pro HD webcam for full HD streams, hyperframe frame rate, capture software. Yeah, for 130 bucks, this was too good of a deal to pass up on. This was probably the big, the big thing I was really excited for. Like, I was really excited to get when I saw the Best Buy ads because, you know, the mo like I said, the movies in there they weren't bad deals. They were just not. They were most of them were movies I already owned. So, if anything, is if anything, if there wasn't too much of the, of the movies I was gonna get, this was probably the big thing I would. This is gonna be the biggest thing I was gonna get regardless. So. So that completes another Black Friday, and I will be. And of course, I, and I'm going to be back out there tomorrow because I, I, I was going to go today, but I have to work. So unfortunately, that's what is. That's why I went to Best Buy and Target yesterday. But, but yeah, best. But yeah, I will be back out there again tomorrow for a movie stop episode. Probably not going to buy anything. It's hopefully probably not going to buy anything, but. That just gives you an idea of everything that I picked up yesterday during Black Friday.